Hey guys, welcome back. Blue Orchid Creations here. Today we are focusing on the Flippin' Awesome Paints by the Crystal Act Company. Uh, we've got some colors here. Actually, let me move my tumbler out of the way so that we can see these colors a little better. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch here to choose from. They have a grunge grayish, which is like a, well, it's like a brown gray color, so it's pretty nice. They've got midnight blue, which is like a deep royal blue. They have moss green. It's, it's a little on the light side for moss. I would say moss would be a darker green but this is like a nice light pastel woodsy green then there's mint green which actually I would say is more like a teal but like a pastel teal and then boom we've got some totally teal right here my favorite then we've got a slate gray. Coral crush over here on the end, which is, it's got a hint of orange in it, but it's a lot red too. We've got some mermaid green, which I would say is like a green with a touch of blue. They've got lovely linen, which is like a cream color, which I, they're all shrink wrapped, so they're not standing up and behaving like they should. It's like a cream compared to the bright white that they have. You can see that difference there. It's like they put like just a tiny little drop of gray into their lovely linen to make it that pretty cream color. Then we've got spicy mustard, which is not a bright yellow. It may look like a bright yellow in this video but this is more it has like some brown tones in it this is not if you wanted to make like a sunflower cup this is not a bright popping in your face yellow then they have purple delight so damn it if you could think of like a grape color it's like grapes like a deeper purple like the Lakers Lakers purple we'll call it Lakers purple okay and then we got one more Robin's egg blue this is like a powder blue really pretty soft pastel colors so you can really do a lot with this set there's a whole lot of banging colors here I'm a sucker for blues, so today we are going to experiment with the totally teal and the mint green, which I guess does kind of look greenish compared to, oh, well, I don't know. If you compare it to the mermaid green, it looks baby blue. I don't know. Of course, it's going to look completely different because the video is going to pull up different colors than what I can actually see with my eyes. But today we're going to work with the blues. And I don't know, maybe this gray. I'm really feeling this gray today. Which, if you've seen my house, that's literally all my house is, is gray. You can kind of see... Eh, kind of see my wall color back there that's great so they do come shrink wrapped which is good because you never know how the postal man is gonna manhandle your stuff when you're not looking let me see if I can find one I shook them all up here we go you can kind of see they do settle if you don't touch them for a few minutes so just make sure you shake them up really good so you get even coverage. So I'm going to shake these up, 
get all these bad boys out of the way and then we're going to bring that tumbler over here and get started on that. So initially I was curious why there wasn't a black, why it only goes as far as slate gray, but then, you know, I looked up and realized that Crystallax sells uh, black gloss. So I'm assuming, I have not used these yet, you literally just watched me take them out of the shrink wrap, but I'm assuming that these are to be used instead of spray paint so that you don't have to worry about gassing off your stuff. So I'm not sure if Extreme Protection or Bright Tone has to go down first. So we are going to learn together. Ooh, this is really, really smooth. Really smooth. Okay, yeah. I do not think Bright Tone has to go down first to get really good even coverage. This is sliding on like Bright Tone. Super easy peasy. I'm actually going to put some Bright Tone on here just to see the difference over here on this white part. And then we will, I'll put some up here too. Then we'll go and put in that blue color and see. It may make it really streaky. So again, we are going to learn together. We learn from our mistakes and from others. So let's make some quote unquote mistakes and see what we learn. So we've got that gray spinning. Let's bust out this teal color. Okay, yeah. So putting it in bright tone makes it hella streaky. So I believe this is to be done like I did with the gray, that it goes right over the cup. It replaces the need for spray paint because this coverage before I jacked with it again was actually really, really good. Um, well, I guess we'll see how well these colors combine. See what happens if we just drip some on there. Okay, so you can kind of mix your colors, make like a sea foamy esque. Um, thing. I don't know, that kind of looks like water. I don't, I guess you just let your inner child come out, play around, make swirls and designs. Obviously, bright tone is self leveling. So, I think even if you got like super swirly and created all these different textures it'll kind of even itself out as it swirls. I'm hitting it with some air oh, just to kind of see what happens when you drop one color into another color like we did over here with the drops. Um, kind of look like seashells so that's, that's interesting.
I'm blowing ice air everywhere. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I sure did. Okay, so it looks like how it's intended to work is you just drop some of this on your base, probably preferably white. I'm sure you could do whatever color you wanted. And it is, I'm assuming, to replace having to use spray paint. Nothing else really makes too much sense. Because uh, it's, it's runny. Oh, I just lost my lid. Oh, I found it. It's runny, but it's not super thick. I would say it's the... Um, consistency of bright tone but it's just like super color so there you have it we're just we're just making a mess now we're just playing around so this is fun this can create a multitude of textures. This can create something really abstract. Um, what I'm doing over here on the gray, which actually looks really pretty if I had done the gray all the way to the top, is it dried a little bit and then some of this blue from over here I'm just like streaking it through so it almost looks like a wood grain but with a dash of blue instead of you know like the brown if you keep mixing obviously it turns gray uh, I do not see a brown color I don't know they may sell brown maybe they're working on a brown because obviously wood grain is like super super in right now uh, other than that, I suggest buying some, playing around with it, getting some cool patterns. Um, uh, obviously you could have something like this on top and then go in with some holographic glitter and that would look really, really pretty. Where I get my glitters from is Mystical Glitters and Supplies. Their website is mysticalglitters.net. They have beautiful glitters. They are not expensive. They are a family-owned business. So if you're watching this, more than likely you yourself are a small business. So you understand how important it is to some support other small businesses check them out guys for a little for a little while they are doing free shipping on your first order if you put my name in their checkout box my name is spelled c-a-s-s-i there is no e on my name make sure you spell my name correctly so that you can get free shipping off of your first order through their site. Their prices are already absolutely amazing. So definitely worth it to check them out, check out what they got. They don't sell just glitter. They also sell some really cool tumblers that I'll be looking into buying from them. And they sell silicone molds so if you do still use epoxy on the side or every once in a while they do sell things for epoxy users as well so support your small local business guys you know scratch their back like you would want yours scratched shop small shop local let's keep these small small shops in business let's you know help them pay the bills just like we need help paying our bills use my name at checkout get free shipping off your first order save some money 
helping out a small business while you do so. This video is sponsored by the lovely Crystalac Company. I only use Crystalac products for my cups. I like the fact that I can go epoxy free. I can work on tumblers in my house with my four and five year old and I don't have to worry about an allergic reaction. I don't have to worry about them potentially going to the hospital due to overexposure. This video is also sponsored by Mystic Glitters and Supplies. I cannot stress just how important it is to support your small businesses, guys. Do to others what you would want done to you. You yourself, you're probably a small business owner. If not, if you're some big corporation like Walmart, more power to you. The small guys need help too. I myself am a small business owner. I 100% small business uh, support small business owners as well. So Make sure you guys are doing your part. Help those small business owners. Go get some glitter. Great prices. Great people. Wonderful people. And thank you for tuning in. If you guys have any questions or comments, questions, concerns, post them in the comment box below. Everything used in this video will be in the description box below as well. So thank you for tuning in and I will see you next video.